Hi, I'm Mike Alves. This is the guest day warm-up video. Now, you may have just foam rolled. Great if you did. It's okay if you didn't. This next five minutes are five exercises to help loosen up the, the stiff joints, mobilize the stiff joints, strengthen and stabilize uh, the weak joints, and to start to get you to perspire. Uh, there are a multitude of exercises you can do. I just chose five of the best ones I thought for someone I don't yet have a relationship with that I'm trying to build one with and to help prepare you for your experience and then um, to use any time that you're not with us or you have a long stretch between workouts. First exercise, half kneeling. So tuck your butt, ribs down, push your head back, hands behind your head, open your elbows wide, don't pull on your head, push your head back. You're gonna rotate towards the front leg eight times. Switch. So what this does is it fixes the lower body so you can get hip mobility. This half kneeling stretches out your hip flexors, helps to activate your glutes while working on thoracic mobility so opening up your chest and your thoracic spine so that you can move better. The second exercise is a bridge. Tuck your chin, ribs pull down, pubic bones up. Feet are shoulders width apart, feet are flat. Bridge, one, two, down. Bridge, two, two, down. We're gonna do 20 reps, holding each rep for a two count. Now, oftentimes, people get low back injuries. One of the main causes or contributors to low back injuries is a sedentary lifestyle, sitting too much. What happens when you sit too much is your hips get tight and short. Your abs get soft, your butt gets soft, and you get what's um, known as glute amnesia. It's a, it's a gentle term to say that your butt stops working. Or you get glute atrophy. You start to lose the muscle in your butt. So this helps to switch it on so it can stabilize and fire. It helps to lengthen your hips so you can stand taller. We'll call that 20. All right, the third exercise is a deep squat. Now we're gonna do a more coordinated movement. I'm gonna show you the profile first. Reach, hands down, hinge, deep squat, squat down, push your head back, arms straight up, stand straight up. Hinge, deep squat, Arms straight up, stand straight up, hinge, deep squat, arms straight up, stand straight up. We're going to do eight reps. Four, see how my arms are in my legs and hands are outside? I'm pushing my knees open and I'm using the leverage to pull my shoulders back. Halfway. That first hinge, this hinge helps to switch on, again, the posterior chain, the back side of your body, the side that gets shut off from sitting or sleeping. Call that eight. Okay. Next, side plank. I call this a level one side plank. You're gonna do it with your knees bent. Now you might be able to do straight legs, but for today, just for this, do the bent knees because it's going to isolate the glute medius. So you're going to bridge. Push your head back. Now, sag your head, pull it up, find the middle. Push your head back so you feel the back of your neck and a double chin. Check your ribs, put your hands on your ribs, and are they pulled down or are they sticking up? If they're up and exposed, pull them down. 
Now, are you sticking your right chest out? Is your butt tucked and pushed forward? Okay. We're going to hold for 20 Mississippi, excuse me, 25 Mississippis per side. We'll go for five more. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, switch sides. Now, this is a lateral stabilizer or a frontal plane stabilizer for the lumbar spine. Oftentimes people get low back injuries because they can't resist lateral flexion, they can't resist rotation, and so this helps to strengthen the oblique area. Oftentimes people get IT band syndrome because their glute medius is weak and their hips sway side to side. If you think of a, a model on the, run walk, on the runway for a catwalk, on a catwalk runway, a model and her hips sway side to side, you would want to prevent that unless you're on the runway because that's a contributor to lateral knee pain to tightening your IT band. So the side plank with the bent knees would help to strengthen the glute medius, which should turn down the IT band syndrome. Last one, dynamic calf push. We're gonna do 10 per leg, heel flat, toes up, put your opposite leg behind your calf. Go up on your toes, heel flat, toes up. Now this is gonna warm up your ankle complex. We want your ankles to feel mobile. We want your knees to be stable. We want your hips to be mobile. We want your lumbar spine to be stable. We want your thoracic spine to be mobile. We want your scapular thoracic joint to be stable. If you've been sitting a while, your calves probably feel tight. This is an easy one to loosen them up. You can do it anywhere, anywhere there's a ground. Okay, quick five minute warm up. Go to the next video.